you don't mind coming coming in and sitting down and talking to us. But that won't our heart. That's right. She will share. And she will let us know. Amen. Amen. I thank y'all for for you for that. Amen. Amen. And like I said, Paul said, when she greeted us, we said, Dad, spiritual dad, spiritual daughter. And have a better blessed spiritual daughter in the house. Now all of you blessed.
And I began to seek the Lord at 20 years old. My mama is my rock. Before I came in here, she laid hands on me. <laughs> she is a praying mama yes. who loves her children. Not only her children, but anybody that comes in the house. Anita Evangelist, Anita Lowe, Amen. I love you. You're my best friend. I love you. I want to honor my children, Brittany, Courtney, Kayla, and Franklin. My children are my world. Amen. But I'm going to hurry up. <laughs> My children are my world. I love them. And they know I, I correct them. That's how much I love them. I don't hold back correction when it comes to my children. And that's what the father does. He don't hold back correction when he loves us. I want to thank and praise Yahweh for my Taylor family. Amen. Give it up for the Taylor family. Hallelujah. 
And Evangelist Tucker, a prophetess, who hears from Yahweh, tap to tap. He, he encourages you. Oh, yeah. he, he, he wants you to preach. Come to Mars Village. When you come into Mars Village. I love him. Love him. And we're going to get on with the work. All week, I done had the title of this message. Y'all guess how long? 28 years. <laughs> 28 years I have had this message. And I ain't had all the words, but I had the title and I knew the book. So if you got your Bibles today, hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Turn to, with me in the book of Haggai. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, when you there, say amen. How many got your Bibles today? Amen. How many got your sword of the Spirit today? Yeah. Because without the word of Yahweh, we can't make it. Without the word, the word is our guide, it's our yes. compass Hallelujah. to life. Hallelujah. Yes. If you want to know where you need to be, you need to be in the word. Yes. Hallelujah. You need to be in the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to start at the second verse of chapter 1 of the book of Haggai. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, this people say, the time is not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then came, had the, then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses, and this house lie waste? Now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your way. Mm -hmm. And let's turn to 2 Corinthians, the 6th chapter. And we're going to read from verse 1 through 4. We, we then say amen. amen. We then as workers together with him beseech you all also that ye receive not the grace of Yahweh in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted. In the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. In the book of Haggai, Zerubbabel and Joshua was the high priest. And the word of the Lord came saying, it's time to build my temple. Amen. And if I would use for a subject, my subject would be now is the accepted time. Consider your way. <coughs> See, sometimes we don't consider our ways when it comes to Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Yahweh is doing something in his ministry. He taught us this month to get our feelings in check. <laughs> to get our emotions in check through Apostle Johnny Grant. He told us through Prophetess Benjamin that we should lead and guide in the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit lead and guide us. And he's getting ready to do something in this church. 
He's taken us to a place where uncleanness cannot go. Yes, Consider your way. It's time where we have to make a decision. Whose side are you going to be on? Whose side are you going to be on? There's been a line drawn in the sand, just like Moses. When Moses was on the track mountain and he came down, and he had been with, with Yahweh, he came down with the tablets. And he came back to a people that were partying. A people that had built up an altar to an idol God. And Yahweh sent through Moses, said, Moses, these people, they have to go. So I need you. Moses said, I need you to make a decision. He is the right hand, Yahweh's way. He is the left hand, your way. Whichever way you choose, I need you to make a decision today. This day, I need you to make a decision. You can hear me, church? You need to make a decision. Who will you serve? Who will you serve? We serve our flesh long enough. We serve ourselves long enough. Now it's time for us to make a decision. I remember back that December 13th, 1992, I was sitting on the quiet stand right here. And Yahweh said, today or never. Yahweh is saying to some of us, today or never. Because we need to line up because Yahweh is trying to bring the glory back into his house. And the glory is not going to come in any kind of place. From the pulpit to the musicians to the praise team to the ministers, to the members. Yahweh want us to line up, get our house in order. The days are short. Yes. The night's been spent. Yes. How long, hallelujah, Lord. how long will we be in this place where Yahweh has to bring us message after message after message after message to clean ourselves up? To clean ourselves up. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. There are signs everywhere. Earthquakes in diverse places. Wars. Not just rumors of wars. There are actually about 12 wars going on now. All at the same time these are going on. But we're still doing our own thing. We're still doing our own way and we forget about Yahweh. He was telling the, the book in the book of Haggai, he said, you done, dwell, you done dealt in your, dwell in your house long enough. You got a panel house. Your house is all decked out. Your house is all laid out. Some of our houses have been remodeled. Some of our houses have expanded. But Yahweh said, my house lie waste. My house. Lie waste. And he's not talking about a building. He's talking about our spiritual house. He's talking about the temple. We are the temple. And we continue to defile the temple every day. Every day we defile the temple of Yahweh. We have no respect for him. We have no respect for him. We say what we want to say. We do what we want to do. We have no respect for a true and living Yahweh. We treat each other bad. We're nasty to each other. Yahweh did not please. Consider your ways. The line in the sand has been drawn. Today is the day that you choose whom you're going to serve. Are you going to serve 
the God that your father served when they was in the Egypt. See, some of us want to be still in Egypt. Some of us still want to live in the land of manna when Yahweh is trying to give you new manna, fresh oil. But he can't put fresh oil in an old wine skin. He can't put it in there. And until we line up, get ourselves together. We've been talking, it's been told to us, stop fornicating, stop adultery, stop lying, stop, stop, stop. And we still continue. And we think, because Yahweh hadn't killed us. He hadn't destroyed us. We still doing what we still blessed. Money still coming in. We still got our help. We still got life. But Yahweh, your spirit is dying. You dying spiritually. I want to come with a word that's going to jump and make you shout. But Yahweh said, today is the day of deliverance. Today is the day of salvation. If you want to be set free, he's here to set you free. If you want to be made clean, he's here to make you clean. But the choice is yours. You might not get another opportunity. You might not get another chance. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of deliverance. Hallelujah. In the book of Corinthians, he was saying we are ministers. We are ministers. And that we should give no offense in anything. That the ministry be not blamed. And the ministry is just not the temple. The ministry is your marriage. The ministry is your children. The ministry is your grandchildren. The ministry is your neighbor. The ministry is your co-worker. The ministry is the homeless. The ministry are the poor. The ministry is the widows. That's the ministry. But we too busy serving ourselves. That we neglect the ministry of God. That we neglecting the ministry of Yahweh. Yahweh, he convicted me. On the fourth Saturday of every month, we get so full. And that's our, our, our when we give our food bank out. And Yahweh said, Y'all give out food, but what about the souls? Mm -hmm. Who is there when the people drive up and say, you need prayer? Mm -hmm. Who is there out there handing out tracts because the cars is lined up? The cars are to the road. But we come out the church full with a smile on our face. Didn't the Lord move today? And we neglect the ministry of the people he sent you to deliver. Those people are not just here to get food, they need spiritual food. We got it. But we selfish. Selfish. We fat. About to regurgitate. We so full. But the people we need to reach, we just get in our car and we just pull off. Because we don't want to deal with them, if the truth be told. We look down on them. Yahweh not please. Consider your ways. Some of us, I said, Yahweh. What's going on? You know when your money look a little funny and your change look a little strange. <laughs> Y'all was like, consider your way. You so much, but you reap little. Come on. And I read in the second chapter of Haggai. Mm -hmm. 
Yahweh said, you got money in the bag and it's like holes. <laughs> and in the scripture in the second chapter, he said, I blew on it. You ever got your check? And you're like, where is it? <laughs> Yahweh blew on it. Until we get it right, we talk about being millionaires. We need to be honest with Yahweh. Yeah. We talk about being millionaires. Who is the millions for? Is it for you? To buy a new car? To buy a new house? To buy new clothes? To go on lavish trips? Or is it for to establish the kingdom? To establish the kingdom. See, that's why we ain't blessed with the millions, because our mindset is still wicked. Yeah. Our mindset is still set on us. What I'm going to buy. What I'm going to get. But Yahweh said, consider your way. Consider your way. Today is the day of deliverance. Today is the day that you, if you walk out of here today and continue with Yahweh, he said, I bless you. But if you walk out of here today and you go about doing your own thing, you go about doing your own thing, gossiping, lying, stealing, <laughs> Backbiting, probably been said eating and devouring one another. Yahweh have mercy. Yahweh have mercy. Today is the day that we need to make the change. Consider our ways. Hallelujah. I told y'all I wasn't going to be before you long. Hallelujah. But Yahweh. It's only wanting us to be delivered for other people. Amen. It's not about us. Amen. It's about the soul. Oh, yeah. It's about the soul. Yeah. It's about the people who are dying. Our young people who are getting killed every day. Yeah. And we can't even pray for an hour. Yeah. Intercession prayer on Tuesday. How many call in? How many call in? Some of us, we neglect coming to the house of the Lord. We have every excuse. Yahweh said you without excuse. No more excuses. No more excuses. Stop doing your own thing. Stop doing your own thing. I remember... And I, this is where I, I remember two Sundays ago, was it, two, three Sundays, and I drove Frank White truck to church and the gas light was flashing. And it was on E. But I said, I'm going to turn around and go home. Yeah, we said, you go. You go. And let me tell you, when I came here, Prophet Benjamin, no, Prophet, no, that was three weeks. I don't want to lie. The word was being brought forth. And when I got back in the truck, let me tell you how amazing Yahweh is. Come on. When you press your way to do the thing that that he wants you to do. Amen. He desires for you to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. I got in the truck and I cranked it up and the thing went to a quarter of a tank. <laughs> I called my mama. I said, Mama, let me tell you about Yahweh. I came here and the, the light was flashing. The gas tank light was flashing. But I got in the truck and cranked it up. It was on a quarter of a tank. And I had to test y'all way. I said, uh, I, I wasn't going to go to the hot spot and get gas because that's closer. But I said, I'm going to drive all the way home to see if this car was going to have a tank. Because it only said I had four miles. 
let the flesh send you to that place. Because it's about to be judgment time. It's about to be judgment time. He said, look up. Look up. When the last time we looked up, your salvation is near than ever before. The day of deliverance. That's the real day of deliverance. When he cracked the sky. Hallelujah. It's going to be in the twinkling of an eye. You're not going to even notice. Let me tell you, I had to check my salvation two times this year. When the earthquake came, yeah. and I felt it shaking, I'm like, Lord, you gone? You know, you done left me? And I called Brittany, and I said, Brittany, I thought, if she come away, you ain't where you're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your children, they can't be. <laughs> and then it was the second time, the yeah. second earthquake. Yeah. Earthquakes in South Carolina, if that ain't telling you something. Yeah. Second time, I said, Lord, uh-uh, I can't stay here. <laughs> Search me. Yeah. Know me. Yeah. If there's any wicked way in me, yeah. lead me into way of life everlasting. Yeah. I want eternal life. Yeah. So I got to crucify. Yeah. Get rid of. Yeah.
Today is your bow day. Yeah. Today is your wedding day. Yeah. All right. Today is the day that you start afresh. Yeah. Start anew. He's waiting, 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 waiting. And don't let it be like me. 28 years, 30 years to be December 13, 1992. This year be 30 years that I gave my life to Yahweh. I made mistakes. And don't think that you won't make a mistake. But if you will give it to him, renew your relationship, don't walk out here today and go back to your same thing. Please, 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 please. Don't go back. Don't go back. Now, we can stay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And those, I'm so sorry about the Facebook family. I got caught up. If any of y'all out there on Facebook who don't know Yahweh, the Bible says if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that Yahweh raised Yeshua from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Hallelujah. And if, and if you're here today, let's just Make it straight right now. We won't have no, no question in my mind that I choose you, Yahweh. Just repeat after me. Yahweh, Yahweh I, believe I believe in you. I believe you made me. I believe you, made me. I believe you created me, I you created to, me. To, to be a vessel of honor. I confess my faults. I denounce every sin, every wicked way, every evil thought, every evil word that didn't line up with your word. Search my heart. Know me. And if there's any wicked way in me, lead me in the way of life everlasting.
thanksgiving. We thank you, Lord God, you bless the children we give. We honor you, Lord God, for strength of the week to work. We want to give our obedience unto you. And Father, in the name of Yeshua, it's a good thing that we give tithes and offerings. We don't give it grudgingly. And we don't let the spirit of greed overtake us. But Father, we thank you. Don't no go to Bashanda. Hallelujah. You're going to win us in heaven. And you will our blessing. Hallelujah. I thank you even for the anointing to break the yoke. Thank you how you cover us on your blood. You watch over us. I have an offering. It's a big thing. It's a sacred thing. It's a holy thing. And it's a honor and a privilege that we're able to do it. Hallelujah. The life, health, and strength. Hallelujah. That we may establish your covenant. And we give it and we thank you for blessing it. Yeah, we have needs, and our needs are met according to your riches and glory by your son, Yeshua, Hamashiach, and we bless you in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Amen.